Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the SH Figure Arts Bandai Tamashi Nations Avengers Infinity War movie Thor figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one's for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends, imports, many maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't. And a real quick look at the side art. You can see the Avengers logo, SH Figure Arts. It says Thor. One picture of the figure on that side. On the opposite side, more of the same. You can see the Avengers Infinity War logo here. And that's it. Let's get this guy out. See what's what. So I'm a little late to the party, but I finally got the SHF Infinity War Thor in hand. I had to wait for this guy to come from Big Bad Toy Store. I missed him uh, on the pre-orders uh, through Japan where I could have got him for a decent price and I ended up paying a lot of money through Big Bad Toy Store. He's absolutely not worth 120 something dollars. Um, so I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat, but it is very nice and probably SHF's best Thor to date. A good likeness to Chris Hemsworth. They uh, got rid of the plastic cape. You got an actual cloth cape here. And this is arguably one of uh, Thor's best uh, costumes in the MCU, in my personal opinion. So uh, not a lot of accessories with this guy. That's another reason why it's not worth the exuberant price tag. But let's get into what he does have. So straight out of the package, he has two fists. He's got a set of open hands with the fingers spread. He's got a set of open hands that are his grippy hands. These will be utilized to hold his final accessory, which is his axe. And there's a look at that. Stormbreaker and hand, which looks really good. The blade looks really nice. I think they probably could have put some more fine detail in the actual handle here to really make it look like wood. But no issue with him holding it. He can hold it with either hand or with both hands. And I think they got the size right, so that looks good. Yeah, I like that. And just taking a good look at his deco. So mostly all black here. Uh, you can see the sort of chain mail on the arms, which is cool. Uh, the bands on the wrist are different uh, texture. are supposed to be like a different material. Uh, it's sort of like a play on his classic costume, just all black, I guess you could say. Uh, and I think they did a good job. I think the actual uh, cape looks really good. Only thing that they didn't do was put any bendy wire in the cape, which is just really stupid. I do like that it's red and black and, you know, everything here looks movie accurate. Uh, the head sculpt here looks really good. It's a really good likeness. Not bad at all. One of their better ones, I don't know if I'll say it's uh, their best, but the likeness is there. It's not spot on, but it's decent. And they didn't go overboard with the with the gold highlights in the hair, so that's always a plus. These companies sure know how to sell you short, man. I don't know why with this price tag there wasn't any bendy wire in this cape, but at least they didn't go with a plastic one. But anyway, looking at his articulation, the head and neck is a separate part. You can get him to look down really far. He can look up just about that far. Not going to look up too far because it's hindered by the collar here. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Uh, which will get up just about that far. You can actually do a full 360. There's a butterfly joint in there. There's a simulated upper shoulder swivel. It's all one point. The joint is hidden inside there, so no actual cut on the upper bicep there, though. Uh, double jointed elbow, which is great. Swivel and a hinge on the wrist. Upper torso articulation back and forth. Circular motion left and right. More articulation at the lower abdomen, and you can turn them left and right there. Uh, T-joint at the pelvis. Leg is going to come up just about that far. Going to go out that far. You can see that double sort of barbell joint in there. You'll get rotation at the upper thigh. Double jointed uh, knee. You get a swivel and a hinge and a pivot on the foot and a toe joint. So good articulation. Pretty good stature here from Thor as far as the size goes. I think they got that pretty right. I'd like to see him stacked up next to Hulk actually. And a few quick size comparisons. There he is next to the Captain Marvel movie Captain Marvel. SHF, Star Wars Black Series Greedo, not to be confused with the O3 Greedo, Revel Tech Gambit, Mezco Dark Knight Batman, SHF Tony Stark, and finally Infinity War SHF Hulk. Alright, I gotta get up out of here. Thor came out really nice. It's definitely one I would recommend, but 
only if by some chance you could get them for cheap. I would not pay the amount of money that I paid. And honestly, it's not worth it considering what you get with the figure. It was only a few hands and the axe. He didn't come with any additional uh, effects or um, there was no bendy wire in the cape. Uh, you know, I've seen people actually put their own bendy wire in the cape and make it look really cool. Uh, but I think they should have done something outside the box and packed this guy in with the teenage Groot. It should have been like a two pack and they could have really went against the grain and did something against the norm and that way you could have collected your little big three uh, from SHF uh, you know with Rocket, Thor and, uh, and Teenage Group. This Rocket back here is the Avengers Infinity War version. This is actually the first time that I opened uh, this figure but um, yeah I would wait this out and see what happens with Avengers Endgame which is right around the corner uh, April 25th. I already got my ticket. I hope you guys got your tickets and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.